Hi, it's Lana, the Comedian Medium. I'm coming here for Cappy at Aquarius Readings. I hope everything's good for you. Hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Visit EnchantedSky.com for a free reading. All right, excuse me, I take that back. To book a reading, <laughs> I'm, always, I'm already giving those away. Um, book a reading, um, visit thewisewomansage.com is my blog. I haven't written on that for a while. I got to get moving on that. I get lazy. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email me, lhartgra at yahoo.com. Those are cards. Okay, and uh, this is only a quick reading. This could be love. It could be finance. It could be what some things going on in your life. Okay, you're doing some soul searching. That's for sure. Oh, you got a message coming. All right. Oh, you have justice. Good. This is a different reading. My Now, this is um, different than my, completely different than my Sag Cap. Now, my Scorpio Sag reading was very similar, but now my, my Sag uh, Aquarius is different. So, you know, you're doing some soul searching and you're getting justice for the first time, you know, and it's coming in February. So maybe you're waiting for a settlement. Maybe you're waiting for your taxes. Now, see, it's been a little, it's a little bit, um, taking a little bit longer than you would like. And it feels like there's been stagnation about something. Okay. Um, you're getting your wish. You are very much getting your wish, and you're ending something. Ooh, wow, these are good. That's a good reading. Okay, because I actually, I'm going to turn this back over, because I think I accidentally pulled it off backwards, because it feels like it should be up. So now, you know, boy, you're getting your wish. You're doing your some soul searching, and you have this new inspiration, this new opportunity, this new get-together, this new thing that you're trying. Now, it may even be as simple as trying something new that you've never tried before that ends up working for you very well, okay? But you are at your end of your cycle, which means there's a brand new cycle coming in. I want to say it has something to do with money. I just do. It just feels like that, okay? Um, you know, you came in the middle of the month, you know, Mercury is in retrograde this month, okay? When Mercury is in retrograde, Mercury in retrograde means... Things go screwy. They always, I, I never make big decisions during Mercury and retrograde. I, I know that sounds, people are like, oh, that's so stupid. Blah, blah. No, no. It's true. Big time. Okay. So you've got a message coming. You've got a message and there's people cutting through and it's, it's a message of, I want to say it's, it's an electronic type message. You have a message coming and things are ending in a good way. You're getting your wish. Okay, you're starting something new. You're coming up with a new idea. Maybe, maybe you're getting justice, which means maybe you got a nice tax return, and that's going to give you the money to go forward. Now, the Knight of Cups can be a person. It can be you going forward. Okay, quickly, um, with a message of love. It can be a message of love coming from somebody. Okay, which can lead to a marriage or a relationship, or, but it also can mean. That you're going forward with what something you've always wanted. And I want, there's lots some people pregnant, I think. Pregnant or married. Or getting a message. Message of love. Which leads to marriage. And there's an ending, which means there's a new, com there's something new coming. So, um, which means the Ace of Cups. Okay. So, you've got a couple of different things. I want to say for a couple of people... This is an opportunity you're going to get maybe some money and you're, I feel like you're going to end some, cut some bills or something, cut a card, something, put your finances right or something. Okay. Now, when I see the Knight of Swords, you're going forward and you're cutting through your crap. You're cutting through the crap. You're done with it. You're just not going to deal with it anymore. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you found a new person and you're just, just done, just I'm done with this. You know, they've brought their love to me. And I'm done with the other stuff. Okay? I'm just done. Okay? Um, you know, you got a King of Cups sitting here. I, I know this This guy comes all the time in my readings. But my husband is a King of Cups. So, I guess that's... <laughs> okay? But it's a, it's a water sign, by the way. 
and fair, honest, kind, fair. So see, here we go again. Very fair. Okay. He's very watery, um, emotional, but able to stay stable, able to, to see the bigger picture, to make wise judgment. That's the kind of person that they are, that this person is. Now, this could be a woman, too, because I know the King of Cups, if it's a very male type woman, okay, um, could be that, okay, and um, it's uh, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer, okay? So, it's going to be just, everything is going to be just in your favor, fair and honest, okay, this month, all right? So... This even could be, this Knight of, of, of Cups is a water sign also, but it could be the person even doing your taxes, guys. I mean, and they found you loopholes or they found you something in your taxes that you just weren't really aware of or something like that, okay? Very well could be that. And, but like I said, this could be a new relationship. And if I had to say this was love, someone's out of the clear boo going to offer you a they're going to tell you, I'm in love with you. I, I can't live without you. They may have come back from another, another place, another, you know, from the past a little bit because there's some soul searching going on during this month too, you know, but you are going to get your wish. And so what this is, is you're getting your wish. Okay. So by getting your wish, okay, you're going to. Start that relationship, start that business, start that job, start that baby, start that marriage. Okay. It's going to, it's going to work out for you. Okay. All right. So it feels to me that this Mercury in retrograde is not going to affect you. Now, I, like I said, I said that, um, to also to Scorpio, um, or Scorpio, excuse me, Sag, Sag, um, Sag Capricorn and to Scorpio Sag that Sagittarius is, is one that's not being really affected by Mercury in retrograde and neither is Capricorn. It's the way it sits. It's this year it's sitting in, in Pisces. Now, some of them are going to be really, really affected because I know I've had wonderful Mercury in retrogrades and the only time I had a great one was when it was in my own sign. Now, this is in Pisces, but it feels like I know for a fact that it shouldn't, it kind of like, it shouldn't affect Sages at all and Caps. So, as a cusp, this shouldn't, it looks like this is a very, very good month for you, okay? And if anyone doesn't know about working in retrograde, if I tell you really fast about it, um, don't make any huge decisions. And it's not asking you, Ashley, for the huge decisions, if you notice. You know, things are going to happen, but it's not asking you to make your mind up about things. Things are going to go forward because this is a good Mercury and retrograde for you. So, see, everything's going to be just anyway. So the decisions will be made almost for you. So, um, but when Mercury is in retrograde, um, I never make huge decisions. Um, I pray that I never get my review <laughs> from work and Mercury and retrograde. Um, because things just get work messed up. Paperwork, computers, um, ugh, cars, ugh, everything. It's just, it's, ugh, it's just, it can be that way, but it looks to me that this is not a bad, a bad one for you. And it does end the first week of March and this is going into March. This is almost at the beginning of March for you. Okay. So, cause that's what I'm feeling. It's like the second half of the month. All right. So. Who is your king of cups? That's my question to you. Are you the king of cups? You can be, even though that is a water sign, you can be. You're fair and honest and loyal and just, and you're getting some karma coming this way, which is good. So for most of us, though, that is a person coming in your life that's going to help you with your justice, okay? So with that, I'm going to let you go and let you... you um, meditate upon that digest that i guess i could say and uh hit like and subscribe like i said and um blessings i'll be coming back with the march reading really soon namaste